Hey friends, welcome back to another video here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. I am Shantae, and in this video, I am taking y'all along on our Las Vegas vlog. We went to Vegas for our 10 year anniversary, and I'ma show you everything that we did. So this is gonna be a long video, so stick with it, and I hope y'all make it to the end. And if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. This is a mother-daughter hair channel where we talk about hair care routine and maintenance, but every now and then we throw in one of these little travel vlogs. So here I am touching down in Las Vegas. We had a one-way trip. It was a four-hour flight, and we are staying at the Wynn Resort. We upgraded our suite to a corner suite. We originally was supposed to stay in the Encore, but we wanted to check in early because we got there early, like, like around nine o'clock in the morning, and we were just ready to just lay it down. So I'm just walking y'all through our hotel. Like I said, it was a corner suite, so we had this panoramic view of the Strip in Las Vegas. Absolutely gorgeous. So here I am manly opening the curtains. I didn't realize until later that we had an Alexa and she opens the curtains for us, which, you know, was pretty cool. But I absolutely loved the view of this resort. The resort is huge for one. I didn't even get to like view the entire place or walk the entire place. There were still spots that we were walking in on it was just like where the hell did this come from i mean huge you could definitely get lost here so i do recommend making sure you look at that map because he gave us one and we was just like yeah we good we know how to find our hotel room we had to stop like three people to find out where the hell we stayed <clears throat> alexa open the drapes So you know you can't take me nowhere. I didn't know how to act with that Alexa in the room. I had her doing all kinds of things she had no business doing. So anyways, it was time to eat because like I said, we got there early in the morning, we was hungry. You know, first things first, I had to get some coffee. So we checked out this place called Terrence Cafe Point. It was one of the restaurants in the resort. Now the resort had tons of restaurants, casinos, nightclubs, like you did not have to leave the property for literally anything. Everything was already there, but of course we had to explore because we are true tourists tourist not the sign Taurus Tor anyways he Christian had ordered the chicken and waffles and I had ordered like this I don't even remember the name of it but it had potatoes and eggs and some avocado on the side and that avocado was delicious some little spicy haracha sauce on the side too y'all know I love me some spicy food and I was tearing that shit up so this is just me being a fat ass because I'm gonna show y'all how much eating I did it was ridiculous then I ordered the croissant even though I was full I had saw somebody else get it and I saw how flaky that thing looked oh I had to get it and I love my bread so I sure enough got me some jellies to go with it they brought out a strawberry and a black currant I think I just went with some straight up butter because I love my butter you know I got thick thighs and ass there's a reason why <laughs> <laughs> but look at beautiful Las Vegas. Huh? Oh, I'm not recording you, ho. Nobody want to see you. They try to see me. <laughs> look at look at Las Vegas. Look at look at this look at this room. Corner sweet. We rich rich. <laughs> Just to make sure that everything was all right and everything is awesome. I'm not having any more of the issues that I did have. Which is why I had to upgrade the firmware. Yes, yeah, so just quickly, <laughs> if you're running into us or you go complaining to road like I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, made a bit of a fool of myself, but in the process, I've managed to be able to do a video for people to explain to them why they shouldn't make a fool of themselves and how not to make a fool of yourself. <sighs> Alright, y'all, so. <laughs> I'm in Vegas. I don't know what to record except for me being retarded, so that's what y'all gonna get. We're supposed to go to the Ferris wheel tonight. Matter of fact, you can see the Ferris wheel from our hotel. Let me show y'all real quick. There it is. We're gonna go there tonight. I walk the strip. 
y'all I cannot get rid of views of our suite so anyways we washed up changed up real quick because it is time to hit the strip we wanted to do some walking around and exploring on our first day um, all we had planned was doing the Ferris wheel that night so uh, you know I just kind of wanted to take a chill just kind of just explore our surroundings of course I had Christian taking all kind of videos and photos while we was there this is the main entrance Middle. to the wind resort okay Middle. like as soon as I walked in I immediately was like yeah babe you know you get in a video of me under these trees right here just you know already and he already knew too because he was picking out other little spots like hey babe we can take pictures over there over there over there we was doing it up when it came to content for my instagram and for my youtube video so like he'd be on it saw this ferris wheel on our way out and immediately we thought about the girls we cannot go anywhere without thinking about our kids so then there's this fashion show mall right across the street from the hotel. They have this pedestrian bridge. They have pedestrian bridges everywhere. At the crossover, there's usually a bunch of bridges, especially for the most populated areas. So you don't have to worry about like cars and all that stuff. So I really like that. We walked through there and we also went to the Venetian. They had like a little mall spot too. We tried this little boba place. I thought it was boba tea. It was boba milk and I absolutely hate milk. I don't even know why I got it. Um, I tried this purple drink because it was purple. That was really the, my only reason of getting it. And Christian had this like foamy milk one. They were both disgusting. Um, I'm sorry. I just, it won't my cup of tea. Christian enjoyed his for like five sips. And then he was just like, yeah, no, I don't like it, baby. So we ended up throwing it away. Then we went to this place called Teo, Tayo, Tay, I, O. I don't know, honey. But it was an Asian bistro. Honey, you walk in there, you got bathtubs. I'm not sure if this was a restaurant or a spa. Then we they sat us down, and it's all dark and moody in there. I was just like, oh, there's some freaks up in this Asian bistro. We take a look at the menu, and of course, we expected the prices to be a little high. So, you know, make sure your coins are up if you're going to come here. But we had planned on spending a shitload of money anyway when we got that was like our plan. So of course I had to order me a drink because that that was the main goal the entire time I was out there was I was gonna have a drink every single day I was out there. And it was some little fancy sticker on there. I took a couple of sips and it was actually pretty good. I was like, oh, okay, little Tayo Tayo got something going on here. Now, don't ask me what kind of drink I ordered because I don't remember, y'all. I am so sorry. I think it was something with some lavender in it, but I could be lying. I don't know. Just go in there and say, hey, I want the drink that had the sticker with the arm people on it. And then me and Christian tried to figure out what they was called, and we, we couldn't think of the name. Yeah. What's that person called? Is that it? So our food finally arrived. I had ordered the pets high and then some tuna roll and Christian had ordered the fried rice with like 15 different meats in it. It was actually pretty good. The pad thai was delicious. I love cilantro and I love that they piled on all the cilantro and bean sprouts on there. It really had this nice flavor for it. And then I had shrimp. You can choose between like shrimp, chicken, and I think there was another meat that you can choose from, but I chose shrimp and the shrimp was like a nice decent size. They weren't like skipping out on it. It had a bunch of mushrooms in there and I don't care for mushrooms. So I gave those to Christian cause he's lo he loves mushrooms. So if you do get it and you don't care for them, I do recommend asking for no mushrooms. I also tried out Christian's dish because you know, you just got to, you got to try out what else they got to offer. Now he ordered the fried rice and it had like triple bacon pork belly something in there it was really good though it was really really good like it was nice and flavorful um and then i love the chopsticks that came with it and i was trying to steal them but christian forgot to pack them in the bag for us to take them back home so i missed out on those chopsticks so if you do go there make sure you grab me some chopsticks and bring them back home now i also ordered the spicy tuna roll and <sighs> That, that one disappointed me. I was highly upset. It was like really, really mushy and I'm really big on textures when it comes to my food. <laughs> I didn't realize my face was that twisted, but like I really am. I'm really big on textures and just mushiness and sliminess just don't do well with me. So I don't do jellos. I don't really do a whole bunch of puddings and stuff like that because it just, I don't know, it messes with my mouth. I don't like it. And the tuna, it just, like I thought it was going to be like the raw tuna. I could do raw tuna. I've had it before, but this tuna, I don't think it was raw. Like, I don't know. It was like it was mashed up with some kind of sauce in it it was just way too mushy so i had to like take a swig or something to get it down my throat because i was afraid i was gonna spit that thing back up Alright, 
let him bring it. So after we got done eating, we did some shopping. I hit up a bunch of places. I hit up my Steve Madden because I love me some Steve Madden. We went to this place called Nectar that sells this expensive ass body stuff, but the body stuff is good. I will say that, but we dropped a hundred dollars in there and I was not expecting that. Then we head back to the hotel and I'm just be being silly in the elevator because there was mirrors everywhere in this hotel. So I just like could not help but take out my damn camera and record. So we relaxed and released and then we came back out that night, probably about six, seven o'clock at night. And then we hit up the Ferris wheel. This is the entrance where they have like a bar. You can choose your drink and take the drink on the wheel with you. We bought the tickets where the bar was already gonna be in the little pod. And the, the pod moves like really, really slow. I did not expect it. It moves like a snail. So when you're getting off and getting on, you it don't stop. Like it keeps on moving. You just gotta like hop up on there. And that part I was a little like scared about. But we meet our bartender in there and he was super friendly, so nice. He had all his drinks up there. He was willing to make any and everything. He also was coming up with some stuff. Like we just had a good time. I think we was on there with like two other couples, which was perfectly fine. The pod is like big enough for like plenty of people. Like it's really huge. I did not expect it to be that huge. I also didn't realize that it was gonna be that sturdy for you to have a whole bar on there like you know most ferris wheels they kind of be like rocking you don't feel anything so like even with drinks like you know because drinks kind of make you a little like sluggish you be moving around and kind of unstable even with having the drinks standing up walking taking pictures and talking like you really don't even feel the ferris wheel moving unless you're like looking out the window and you see like so it takes like a, about 30 minutes to complete the entire ride and I was surprised because I was just like, yeah, I thought the tickets was a little expensive for a little Ferris wheel ride. And to be honest, before we even got there, I thought the ride wasn't even working because it moves so slow that you don't even realize that you're just thinking like, dang, this is it even like, you know, so we, when we got there, I thought it was closed or something due to weather because it was kind of windy when we arrived. So I was like, well, maybe they closed down a Ferris wheel. Turns out it just moves really slow. So that's a heads up. I didn't realize how slow it was going to move. And then once we got to the top, he had us take shots it was called a shot at the top it was pretty cool like he was an amazing bartender like really friendly he's telling us all the places to check out and all that good stuff um and then uh, once you are done with your ride you just you know hop right back off on the other side of the ferris wheel and the next group just come pushing on in and yeah it was nice So I mentioned before that the bartender was awesome. Okay, I, I didn't realize how awesome he was. Okay, he only served us two drinks and a shot and we was towed up. So we got off the Ferris wheel, we got the munchies, we decided to get some ice cream. I bought these glasses. Um, I had no business buying them glasses and I bought me some socks. I don't know why, but I bought some socks. I'm still drinking on my drink, as you can see. I didn't even finish it. Christian brings out this ice cream. It was from um, Ghirardelli. It's so good. I don't think nobody should have left us out here unsupervised. Whoever idea that was. Mm. Shame on you. Yeah, really good. Am I doing the story or the... Uh, no. That, that should have been a story. The boomerang? Boomerang. You upload it to your story. Is that boomerang now? Did you do it? <laughs> no, you can just keep the camera still. You're supposed to get the ice cream. Oh, I'm getting ice cream. Let me see. That's not a boomerang, baby. <laughs> Glasses look so amazing. Oh, yeah. I got pee now. Dang, ain't nobody here. It's cause of party outside. Eh, eh, party outside. Eh, eh, party outside. Oh. Mm. All right, we're going back to the hotel suite, y'all. See y'all in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning. It's time to hit up some brunch. And I know we were still on East Coast time cause we woke up at 6.30 Las Vegas, okay? Everybody was still asleep. Uh, half of them breakfast places we wanted to go to won't even open yet. So um, y'all know I had to do my little dancey dance in the elevator because I just love that elevator. But I almost fell 
because that elevator be moving. So anyways, we made it down to the lobby. I had another little photo shoot because I don't know I got it. And when I say mirrors was literally everywhere in this hotel, like as soon as you walk on off the elevator, it don't matter what corner you turn, there's an elevator there. And if you're looking cute, like you just gotta snap a couple pictures real quick. So anyways, we walked down to, um, I think it was the Cosmopolitan. I think we dropped off because I was too cute to walk. So we got dropped off at the Cosmopolitan. We went to the egg slut where they make these uh, breakfast sandwiches. The line was long as hell, but it did move fast. I think we made, waited about 20 minutes until we had to get our food and then wait like another five minutes until they served us. They had this fresh orange juice and I love me some fresh squeezed orange juice. It was really good. I had got like a bacon sandwich and the egg, which this is the part that messed me up. So I guess I didn't read it right, but the egg isn't fully cooked. It's like a little bit of, you know, yolkiness in there, like a little custard up, up in there. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm funny about my textures now. So I thought it was going to mess me up and I was going to be pissed off and I, I wasn't going to want the sandwich. I thought I don't wait it 20 minutes, but I, I actually liked it. You know, after I got used to, you know, the yolk pretty much trying to splash me in my mouth, I just, ugh, I just, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But, you know, once I got over that, it was really good. And then Christian, I forgot what he got. It was something fancy with um, some pimento cheese or something on it. I didn't even try his because I was too busy trying to make sure this egg sandwich wasn't going to get on my white outfit, okay? Because I was looking too cute. Um, and, you know, we sat there, had some conversations, ate, and we dipped out to the next activity. That's ketchup. Yeah. Yeah, ketchup. So after I had some food in me, I decided to walk back to the hotel just so I can get my photo op. <laughs> you know, plus we wanted to walk because we weren't on that side of the strip. The strip, we were like on the end of the strip um, where Egg Slut and the Cosmopolitan and all that. It's like dead center in the middle. So we got to rock past the Bellagio and Caesar's Palace and, you know, just kind of got it just sightsee take some cute pics because it was still bright in the morning the sun was just mm, looking great it wasn't too hot out and then we made it back to the hotel because i had to do an outfit change i was not gonna walk around in this all white outfit this was just an outfit for our brunch so i decided to change it to something a little bit more casual through on my sneakers so we can do a little bit more walking around back in the elevator again when i tell you i love that elevator mirror and it was always clean then Win was on it so christian decided to treat us to a spa a couple spa treatment i was not allowed to take my camera back there and i found out why once i got back there it was a nude spa okay did my husband forget i'm black i can't be going around just showing all these goodies like that so anyways after we got done with the spa i decided to hit up the pool i wanted to walk around and see what it looked like and when i said the landscape was immaculate absolutely beautiful so i did some more you know pictures took a couple of pictures and flicks real quick did a little video, a little walkthrough because it was looking good out there. Now the sun was at its peak at this point, but I still had to take some pictures. We decided to hit up one of these like hole in the wall taco shops. Um, I can't remember the name, but I'll make sure you know I'll put it off to the side for y'all to see it. But of course, I had to get my jarritos, okay, to go with my tacos, and I fucked them tacos up. Them, that was some good tacos. I think a guy on TikTok had recommended it, and it was delicious. I had juices running all out the side of my mouth. I wasn't sure if that was drool or from the sauce, but either way, them tacos was a banging. Came with a shitload of meat and the sauce, a little hot sauce on the side. I was tearing that stuff up. Had my cilantro on there. I love me some cilantro, okay? I was happy. Drank my jarritos, and we was ready to hit the road again, so we decided to walk the strip again, and we passed by this, like, colorful wall that had, like, all this art and stuff on there, and I told Christian how much I want to, like, be more into, like, like art like the kind of art where you like stand there and like contemplate your entire life I want that kind of artwork in my house like I'm tired of family photos because we just basic anyway so anyways we made it back to the hotel it was time to change because we are gonna go see Cirque de Soleil I hope I pronounced that right we're gonna go see that at the O theater at the Bellagio and I was looking good we went shopping for Christian I got him some new clothes I cleaned that boy up nice okay let me tell you he can't never leave me all right I'm the best thing that ever happened to him
So we was running late. So this was the most footage I was able to get of us on our way to the theater. Because once we got in the hotel, we was trying to haul ass in there. We was about 15 minutes late. Um, and that kind of sucked. But we still got to see most of the show. And it was still pretty cool. Like, the things people can do with their bodies. Like, the hard work and dedication they have to have to just, like, be fully into that. Oh, awesome. But the Bellagio Hotel was gorgeous. It had a beautiful casino. Loved the scenery. The theater was amazing. They had a whole swimming pool up there on the stage. People flying in the sky and doing diving tricks and stuff. So this was the end because you're not allowed to record during the show. And we wanted to respect the artists that they were because, oh my gosh. But we was hanging on to our seats because we just knew somebody was going to get messed up falling from them skies and doing them all kind of flips and stuff this was on our way out and they have kind of like a museum where they have all these statues of the performers and all the trips uh tricks and stuff that they do um i don't want to say tricks like i'm pretty sure there's another word for it i don't want to demean or their work because it was nothing short of amazing but this is pretty much what you see on the way in and out of the theater So we decided to walk back to the hotel to kind of get a glimpse of Las Vegas nightlife. Um, so this is where we're like further in the strip. And y'all remember where I took those brunch pictures earlier? Well, I came back because I didn't realize it was gonna be so lit up for the nighttime. And it, it was even better than the daytime. So Christian, of course, did a quick video for me, boosting my head up, making me feel like I look all good. I mean, I did, but anyways. So then I just did like a little small scenery so y'all can see everything, like everything lit up at night is amazing. I swear it's not the same city from the daytime to the nighttime. Of course I had to hit up some in and out because you can't be on the west side without getting some in and out. We had some fries and some burgers. It was packed up in there, but we went ahead and ate real quick and then we decided to grab some drinks before we head back to the hotel. Oh y'all, I was messing that burger up. I don't know if I was just some kind of hungry or what it was, but that burger was good. All right, yeah, so anyways, we decided to get some drinks at Fat Tuesdays. All of my in-laws kept talking about how we needed to come down here and get a Fat Tuesday, and it's pretty much a giant margarita, okay? Now, they do have smaller ones, but you know we in Vegas. We gotta go big or go home, and like I said, I had planned on having a drink every night that I was there. I even made Christian get one. He don't even drink. He took like two sips out of it, pissed me off, wasted pretty much his entire margarita. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna go back and get me another one right before I leave, and I'm make sure I finish it because I wasn't able to finish mine it was towards the end of the night and y'all know we, we kind of old we we be in a bed by 11 o'clock at night because you know we just be tired like that so we decided to walk the rest of the way home with our margaritas I decided to do a little um video op because I was drunk at this point and I was just like you know what let me take a quick little video real quick with my margarita in my hand um, and then we made it back to the hotel room and the next morning we decided to grab breakfast at the cafe now the cafe was something in the restaurant. Um, I had got me a caramel ice macchiato. The coffee was on point. Oh my God, that was some good coffee. They had Starbucks giving a run for their money. Of course, y'all know I had to get my croissant again, okay, with my butter on the side. I decided to get a parfait, and I think Christian got a cinnamon roll and a breakfast sandwich, I don't remember. So this is early in the morning. As you can see, I am still dead to the world. My face is tired. Um, the granola in this parfait was so damn fresh. It was crunchy. You know, sometimes you get a parfait and that granola Nola be kind of stale you know the wind just had my heart from day one they really did this is definitely a hotel we will be revisiting okay so I was tearing up my little parfait had me a couple bites I really just wanted it for the fruit because I feel like I was eating nothing but garbage for the past couple of days I feel like some fresh fruit would have did me some good and then I turned around and ate some bread because I just can't have breakfast without a bread and my butter and I just love that damn croissant. It was so flaky and airy. And I mean, this had to be the best croissant in the world. I don't know who was making it. If they was getting it imported in from France or something. I don't know. But that thing was good. And I was tearing that thing up.
<laughs> I had to pay for it, so. Gotta get my contact. I'm getting some Balenciagas. So after breakfast, I told Christian I went to hit up the pool. The pool opened at 9 o'clock. I think we got there at 9.15. And it was already a couple, it was a nice little handful of people out there. It's Las Vegas, so at 9 o'clock, it was already like 80 degrees, 89, 90 degrees, somewhere in there. It was pretty nice and warm, but not too hot. So we decided to lay there and get some tans. Of course, I also did some photos and some videos because I just cannot. I cannot do... I, I just can't do without it. So as we sit in there, a little bartender comes by. She was like, hey guys, do you want some drinks? Now mind you, I just had some coffee at like eight o'clock and I showed up, I was like, sis, give me a strawberry mojito pronto, okay? Then Christian went and ordered a Long Island. I don't know what the hell was wrong with him. Cause like I said, he don't drink. So he ends up getting this Long Island, gets towed up, has a panic attack cause he think he about to die. Oh, bless his heart. But anyways, we was looking cute. Mm, I did a little outfit change. I went from yellow oh, bikini to a white one. Um, and I look great in both of them, okay? Summer body, I don't give a fuck what body I'm giving. It's, it's summer body today, all right? I dipped my toes in the water and that was about it. I got a nice little panoramic view of the hotel. Um, in the pool and everything and it was really nice like in the pool was huge like this was like one little corner of the entire hotel there was a whole nother side to it so I decided to walk around because I had got some shots in the pool I wanted to get some there were some cabanas behind us that you have to like reserve of course and I told Christian you know uh -uh, let's hurry up and get quick pics before the people who reserved them show up so it looked like we we balling or whatever so that's what we did. You know, fake it till you make it because when I come back, I'm going to be in that cabana. So it's all good. Then we went back to the hotel, did another outfit change, decided to visit the Venetian because we wanted to do the gondolas. Um, our guy, he was really sweet. He was singing songs to us and all that. But this was a waste of absolute money. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. I'm going to be 100% real with you. A waste of freaking money. Even though the guy was awesome, we even tipped him or whatever because he was right. He was nice. Like, you know, he's doing his job. But all they doing is taking you around a swimming pool, boo. Okay, that's all they doing. That same swimming pool that I was over there dipping my toe in that's the same size of that swimming pool that they took us around the only difference is there's a little bridge going over it and they take you up under the bridge and you know his little voice is echoing off the walls and he had a nice voice he had a nice little singing voice but absolute waste of money do do not do this just go to the pool and put on some Italian opera and call it a day because babe it just won't worth it to me it was nice it just won't worth the money it was it was not worth it like yeah, and it was on like a 10 little minute ride. So then after we got done with that, we decided to visit this Brazilian restaurant, Brazilian steak restaurant. I ordered me a drink. I forgot the name of it, but it was something with some strawberries in it. And pretty much they just come to your table with all kind of steaks and lambs and shrimps and, and all kind of meat and stuff. That's pretty much all it is, is a bunch of meat. Now the service was great. They give you these cards where you have to like turn it over. If it's green, that means you want them to come to your table and bring you some more food. If it's red, that means you full or you taking a break. Um, we wanted to try out everything so yeah we did the lamb was my favorite part of the, out of the entire experience um and the staff was amazing you don't have just like one waiter or waitress everybody's like checking in on you making sure you're good and then when we got that check we realized why they were so freaking nice because you dropping a dime up in that place okay then we came home because it was time for us to go to a nightclub so this was a friday night i did a quick outfit change i wanted something you know a little seductive and nightlife giving like around like Catwoman or something so I put on these leather yeah. legs with these leather boots these knee high boots that I've never worn I felt like this was the perfect opportunity to wear them and you know I had to clean up my man real quick and look at him with a little red jacket he thought he was something uh huh so we make our way out the door and of course I had to do a couple of photo ops and a couple of pictures real quick because that outfit was fire I was afraid them brown boots weren't gonna do it but they was giving exactly what they needed to and I, I am happy I went with that decision made my way to the elevator and y'all know I had to <laughs> 
God, dog. A tall drink of water. Yes, I am. So then the club we went to was called Dre's, and it was really nice. Um, you had to pay a cover fee, of course, to get in. Now, we did it in advance, so it was like $30 for me, and I think like $40 for him. I can't remember. Then Fabulous was supposed to be there, and that's one of Christian's favorite artists, so I was hoping, you know, he would have some fun, too, because I was having the time of my life. I wanted to make sure he was going to have the time of his life, too, and at least be able to see a couple of his favorite artists while he was out there, because he doesn't like going to the club, but I do. I be dancing my ass off. So we make our way down to the elevator, and we meet these little group of girls, and they need some picture help taking some pictures, and I'm over here giving them angles and stuff like I'm somebody's professional photographer, and I did that for the free. I don't know what was wrong with me. So then we make our way down some more stairs. There was another mirror. When I say this place loves mirrors, <laughs> I do too, because I took another picture. Then we walked on in. We grabbed our drinks. It was really early, but I wanted to make sure we was going to get in there on time. Um, and plus, you know, this is your time to kind of like pre up on some drinks, you know, start feeling the vibe a little bit. At least that's how I am. I can't just go into the club and just immediately start, you know, shaking my ass. I got to kind of like warm up to it. The DJ was amazing. He was awesome. A great like R&B, hip hop, nightclub. Um, there's a pool there. So we kind of sat over there with the pool. They had like cabanas and stuff for like VIP people. We took our shot and just kind of like sat there for like an hour or so. It didn't take long for the club to end up being live. Um, so yeah, I want to say we sat there for about an hour, slept on our drinks. And then by the time we finished it, we went and got some more drinks and made our way to the dance floor. Uh, we did not leave that place until about like 2.30 in the morning. We was waiting on Fab to show up because again, I told y'all we owe. All right. We usually end up bed by 11 o'clock at night. This is the latest I have ever stayed up in a while. I, w I was upset we didn't get to see him and you know I really want my husband to be able to see you know his his favorite artist or one of his favorite artists so you know fab do better but anyways um the club closed at like six in the morning but we we left up out of there um because i was tired my feet was hurting i ended up meeting this drunk ass girl that would not leave me the hell alone she was real sweet and i felt bad for her she ended up breaking her glasses and she was one of them blind bitches i don't know why blind bitches be doing the the most when they go to the club but anyway this is the next morning because i was exhausted my feet my thighs my calf muscles everything was hurting but i had so much fun i was asking my ass off so Christian's in-laws decided to come in and visit us. They stay in California. So it was like a quick little drive for them to come on over. We went to Yardbird, a banging ass brunch restaurant. So freaking delicious. Um, the only thing I did not like about it was they seat in. They don't really have tables there. They have like lounge areas, which I find absolutely ridiculous. Like you are a restaurant. Get some tables, babe. So anyways, everybody ordered their food. The chicken and waffles was like one of their most popular meals. I had ordered the biscuit and gravy because like three other people ordered the chicken and waffles and I didn't want to be basic and I think Christian got the steak and eggs because he's basic but anyways the food was really good we had some good laughs got to see everybody and so while we sitting there eating they was just like yeah we got to go try out some Guamanian food too some Filipino food and you know I'm always down for some food I ain't gonna turn down no food or anything so we decided to walk through the Venetian I don't think I ever showed y'all they ceiling so it's supposed to be like you know towards like the the italian theme it was kind of cute so this was the red rice re restaurant that they had us at they had my husband over here posing as one of the i'm not sure what his name was i don't know if he's like a god for like the guamanian people i'm not sure i'm not even but anyways i had him over there because they say he looked like him so he over there posing and taking pictures for them Filipino people here are they are hilarious i always have a good time with his family they be doing so much <laughs> like you can't take them nowhere <laughs> but it was fun we got to you know to see everybody all the like the baby cousins the grown-ass cousins probably working or whatever <laughs> Table full of food. food was delicious they kept asking me if it was good or not and i was just like yeah like it's good like i've been with my husband for over 10 years like i have had filipino food at some point in my my time like like they were just so worried that i guess i wasn't gonna like it and i was just like no i'm fucking that food up it was so damn good <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Ready to eat? Yeah, toast and eat. I like it. Yeah. Oh, you like it? <laughs> 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 
We had this at the house. In that little plaza. Huh? I wish we had this in that plaza. Now, do not ask me what any of that stuff was called, okay? I could tell you what it was. I know there was a rib on that plate. There was some shrimp. There was uh, two different types of chicken. There was some empanadas, the, the red rice, of course. Um, and as I'm in the middle of trying to wolf all this food down, they're like, oh, let's take a picture real quick. And there's the rib right there. But, you know, it was, it was good. It was nice eating with a big family. I definitely miss that. You know, I love big families. Like, they they're awesome so anyways after that it was time for us to get ready for the festival we had tickets for the lovers and friends festival and this was my outfit <laughs> you know it's a festival so i felt like i could pay you know have fun with it play around with my look and whatever and i'm just being silly i'm excited or, or whatnot now I, i'm wearing heels i knew i was gonna be doing a lot of standing so i did take some flats with me this was the opening of the festival now we decided to go at like five six o'clock at night because that's when all the like big hitters the ones that i wanted to see at least was going to be performing the, the festival started at like 11 o'clock and it was hot as hell that day it was like up in the hundreds and i was like yeah babe we're not doing that so while everybody was out there at 11 i was eating guamanian food so here are some of the performances i, I can't really play a whole lot of them because i don't want to get flat for copyright and all that stuff but it was nice they had like four different stages there was a bling a crunk a lovers and friends stage there was so many like food places out there that was serving up like any and everything that you wanted there was bars and stuff out there there was a merchandise tent out there they had cooling fans and stuff because people was passing out matter of fact while we was in line waiting to get some drinks a girl had passed out because I think she was out there all day and I was sweating y'all see that upper lip shining right there right so yeah she and she and what was crazy is she was still in line to get some more alcohol with her friends and she passed it out so they had to like escort her up out there I hope she got some medical attention because it was kind of scary it was a lot of people out there um now we stayed and saw like Maya I saw Sierra I saw Ashanti and Ja Rule they were my favorite oh my god Ashanti and Ja Rule had me out there screaming to my lungs all oh, my, my throat everything was on fire I had to get me a drink and I was sipping on that the whole time I was having time in my life I was out there dancing and everything a total freaking schoolgirl. like oh it was so fun now the only thing that did annoy me is when Sierra finally came out there to do her little performance like nobody knew her songs I don't know if they just ain't know her songs or they was just too good to sing along I don't know but I'm out there vibing singing to the top of my lungs and they just standing there looking all crazy and I think it was them youngest them youngest they know what they was doing they was out there and I was like where are my people at where where are my Millennials at cuz this must be the Gen Z's cuz how the hell y'all don't know these songs yeah Lloyd come out there Woo, y'all, I was, <laughs> middle school days was just flashing back. So, this is when, um, I think this is with Sierra or Nelly. Nelly came out there. We also saw Nelly. He brought his brother out there, um, and which, which was awesome because I know he, he always wore that band-aid on his eye because his brother was arrested when he first came out. So, it was nice to see them. Then my girl CC came out there, and she showed the fuck out. Homegirl, it was hot out there. She in a full-on suit, and she was still dancing and singing her ass off. I was like, girl, you, you go. And while she dancing and singing her ass off, I was doing the same thing. I was like, girl, let's get it. Okay, I had so much fun when she was on stage. I was just pissed off that them people People around me just was not the vibe at all then uh, I think TLC was next after Sierra got off stage and then I kind of looked around and I realized that the crowd was a little bit too deep for my liking I would just like my sensors was going off like bitch we need to get up out of here so I took a couple of pictures because I didn't really get a whole bunch in the nightlife and there was this like green light over there so I decided to you know do a couple of videos I brought my t-shirt and I was like let's get the hell up out of here So this was our last day in Vegas. We decided to hit up the Hash House A Go Go. It was a restaurant inside of the Rio Hotel. This is where um, Christian in-laws, or family, it's my in-laws, his family was staying. Um, they're known for their chicken and waffles. They really love chicken and waffles out here. And they had this really banging ass coffee. 
Christian got this like mocha caramel something and I got some cinnamon espresso and I thought it was gonna be cold because you know usually glasses like that they be cold but they was hot y'all and it was really good um I still like I'm dead to the world because I am that festival took it out of me and plus it's the last day so I just kind of wanted to chill just eat some good food and relax we did think about uh doing some gambling and literally that was like the last thing on our mind while we was out there we was not concerned about doing any kind of gambling plus we spent all our money on eating and foods and concerts and stuff that i was like yeah i'm i'm good i don't need to lose no more money i am fine so we sat, sat uh drank on those until our food came out there it was an all right you know kind of restaurant it won't nothing great it's like a really nice like uh, what kind of like an IHOP? It's like a really, really nice, you know, IHOP. But the food's a whole lot better. Christian got the banana French toast. I got the chicken and waffles. It had all these herbs and stuff on there that was a little um, unnecessary because I picked all that shit off and threw it to the side. Um, the chicken was good. It was nice and crispy, hot and fresh. The waffles had like some bacon baked into the waffle i could have did without that i didn't really like it mm, i don't know what it was i don't know if it's because i was already eating chicken and then just having the bacon was just like a little bit too much for me the food was a lot i barely even finished it i didn't even finish the first piece of chicken and they gave me like four slices of waffle the syrup was really good um i decided to try out some little tabasco on the side with it and it was it was all right christian had like these pecans on his and i really wanted to try those so i ate those up his been his like french toast with the banana and stuff that was really good i'm kind of mad that i didn't get that i should have made him get the chicken and waffles but i don't usually like french toast sticks because you know texture again some people be making some soggy ass french toast sticks but those were really good and i was upset that i didn't get to i didn't get it and he got it instead and i like bananas too so i was yeah and then they grilled the banana it was i missed out on that one but the chicken waffles it was all right it was just a lot of food like i'm pretty sure two people could have ate off of that plate but i tried my best to finish up that plate Now, I told y'all I was going to come back and get me another Fat Tuesday because I was mad I didn't finish that first one. So, this time I got strawberry mango. I think the last time was strawberry lemonade and Christian had mango cherry. So, I walked around the link and we did some zip lining. I, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I agreed to it. I almost died on that damn thing because I was so scared. Then after that, we hit the Ferris wheel up again because we had the baby cousins with us and they wanted to go. We also got us some uh, Virgil's. It was some barbecue spot. Absolutely nasty. Mm -mm. If you're from the South, that is not barbecue. Don't bother. All they do is drown everything in barbecue sauce and vinegar. You are not going to be happy. Then we found this little candy mini bar. We originally went in there to find something for the girls because, you know, it's a candy okay, shop Diane, when you Diane first walk in. So we're like, oh, we'll find something for the girls. We went upstairs and I found a bar oh, and, people. you know, the, the rest is How history. Last day in Vegas. Gotta do it up. Gotta get me one of these bitches right here. So yeah, this one nothing but another like sugar factory. So if you've been a sugar factory, this is pretty much what this is. Um, it's called the Candy Mindy Bar or Martini Bar. The drinks were really good. It was nice and colorful. It's a nice little place to hang out with. You got the candy shop below you, and we were sitting right there off the balcony, so we had this nice little view 
Um, and they just serve, you know, martinis made out of candy, pretty much. It was really good, though. I enjoyed it. Christian was over there about to die because he a little baby. Look at him, poke thing. <laughs> now, I will say I was drunk the entire last day of us being out there in Vegas. I had so many drinks. I had that big-ass Fat Tuesday, and then this big-ass martini, and I, I was... Uh, I was toe up. I was. And then we was hanging out with his aunt and uncle. And his uncle and then was trying to get me drunk. They just thought I was the time of the life. Like, they were just like, oh, yeah, CC, let's go get some shots. And I was already effed up. I'm just like, no, maybe I should slow it down because I didn't want to get too messed up because I just previously got real messed up on my birthday. And I was just like, I'm going to take it easy, y'all. And I was like, no, no, you in Vegas. You got to have a shot. So they... They was trying to get me towed up, but they was having some good laughs off of me. I'm glad that they enjoyed it, and I had fun. We all had fun. And, you know, we went back to their hotel and hear those shots that they done talked me into doing. The first one was a single, and then he came back. and was like, I'm going to get you another one, just one last one, one more, right? And I'm like, okay. And the second one he bring back was a goddamn double. I said, oh, y'all trying to get me fucked up. And he, mind you, I got to go to the airport. Like, we supposed to just be chilling until we go to the airport. So, I was drunk as hell go through the airport, okay? TSA probably looking at me like, this bitch done got fucked up in Vegas and got the nerve to be getting on a plane. I just knew I was going to get arrested. I was so scared, but at the same time, I didn't give a fuck. I mean, because I was drunk. And then, here we are, taking off, saying bye to Vegas. And it was nice. It was really nice. We spent a boatload of money. We didn't even win none of the money back. I'm glad, because I'm pretty sure we probably would have lost even even more money but it was nice this was definitely much needed vacation with me and my husband and no kids we'll definitely be coming back out here probably bring the girls next time i don't know we'll see but thank you guys for joining us on a another vlog i don't do these too damn often so i hope y'all enjoyed it i apologize it was long but i did not want to make no multi-part vlog video this is gonna be one and done okay but it was a lot that we did but i appreciate y'all sticking it out to the end be blessed and be safe